guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i have this raspberry halo eye look and of course i always start with priming my eyelids i use the max soft ochre paint pot and for my crease i'm going to start using the ColourPop outer look eyeshadow i am applying this using my blending brush by anastasia beverly hills and i'm just going back and forth all over in my crease so there's a soft layer of this eyeshadow so now the next shade is by ColourPop in the name the news which is a very soft peachy pink shade and I'm going to blend this in my crease as well and I'm using that same blending brush and I'm just going back and forth So now for my next shade, I'm going to use my Morphe 35B eye palette and I'm taking that vibrant pink shade and I'm going to use that same Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I'm just going to blend this in my crease as well. And I'm blending this right on top of where I just blended the other shades. And I can imagine when you're looking at this video and you're like, why did you apply those shades first? And now you're going on top of this one and you can't barely see the other shades anymore. Well, every time I go in with darker shades, I always go first in with some lighter shades to create a more smooth transition. And once you do this a few more times, you will really see or understand why I'm doing this. So now I'm going in with this darker shade, which is... I, every time I use this shade, I can't really explain what this shade is. So if you know, like, how do you call this shade? I have seriously no idea. But it's like a pinky purple shade and I'm going to apply this in my outer V and once there isn't like a lot of product anymore on my brush, I'm also blending this more towards my crease. So now I picked my Morphe M506 brush, which is a very tiny blending brush. And I'm going to softly blend this more towards my inner part of my eyelid. And I'm going slowly a little bit more upwards towards my crease. So now I'm going in with Cherry Cola eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm first going to press this in my outer V and then slowly blending this more upwards towards my crease. And as you can see, I went in with a light shade first, but I'm going darker and darker. And I know this takes a little bit of time, but the end result will look so much more better than if you go straight in with a dark shade. If you really want like that super well blended effect, you just need to have a little bit more patient and slowly build it up. That's really the key to have like a very nice blended out eyeshadow look. And I only want to show you like the best ways to achieve something. So now I'm using my MAC 2 for 2 brush and I'm applying a little bit of that shade also on the inner part of my eyelid. So now to make it even more darker, I'm going in with this matte black shade from the 35B palette by Morphe. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I know I'm repeating myself constantly, but with this I'm just constantly doing the same steps, but building it up with darker shades. And I'm using that same Morphe 35B eye palette and I'm just going to softly blend this. And if you apply too much of that dark, you can go in with one of the lighter pink shades that we used before and use that around the edges to make it more smooth. That's also what I did because I went in with a little bit too much of that black eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Illusion Foil Pigment and this brand has one of my favorite pigments. There's something about the texture of this product which I really like and I'm using a wet brush to apply this. I feel like um, it's not necessarily needed, you can also apply this pigment dry. Um, but like I said in my previous video, I always use shimmery shades on a wet brush because it just gives a way nicer effect. And you can really see that this gives a lot of pigmentation. So I'm using this brush and I'm just pressing this and I'm going up as high as that dark on my eyelid goes. So now with my next shade, I'm going in with the Curtain Call Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek, which is a 
reddish burgundy shade and I'm going to apply a little bit of this next to where I place the Makeup Geek pigment uh, just to make the transition from that bright shade towards the dark shade on my eyelid a bit more smooth. And now I'm going back in with that Illusion Foil pigment and I applied this on a Suiva brush. And this time I didn't use a wet brush, but just apply a little bit of that product on a dry brush. And I'm going around the edges, so the transition from that Makeup Geek and the pigment just fades more nicely into each other. I really feel like whenever you do a halo effect, you really need to make sure that you blend after applying the eyeshadows. So I went a little bit around my crease to make sure that everything is well blended and now it's time for eyeliner and I'm using my favorite Sigma Wicca Jaw Eyeliner. I applied a thin line above my lash line and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner brush in the number 3. One of my favorite eyeliner brushes together with the Sigma eyebrow brush. I just feel like those are one of my favorites because I use them all the time on my YouTube. So now on top of that I went in with the Swing Liquid Liner by The Balm just to make it extra black. And now for my wad line I'm going in with the John to Blue Black Eye Pencil. So before this eye pencil I used the Marc Jacobs Highliner Pencil. But on a random day mine got empty so I had to use a different pencil. So I was searching through my drawers and I found this one and I feel like it works just as fine as the Marc Jacobs one. So now I'm going in with this matte black shade from the 35B eye palette and I'm going to use a tiny amount of this to apply it underneath my lower lash line. And I'm also slowly, slowly, softly <laughs> pressing this on my one line to really connect the black eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line with the eye pencil so you can't see like any skin in between. So I'm going to blend this out using this vibrant pink shade and I'm using my Sigma E45 brush. And I'm going to blend this back and forth. I had some fallout so I didn't uh, film the whole process because it was one mess. So if you recreate this be careful because this whole video I was trying to be so careful and then at the end I had a lot of fallout so that was so frustrating. So now I'm going in with some lashes and I'm using my Anytude Wary eyelashes. And today I'm going to show you how I apply them. So now and then I'm just trying to include this in my videos just in case you're wondering or you need to have like a reminder on how I do it because I very often receive messages from like can you do a video where you show how to apply lashes. So now and then I'm just trying to include this step so you can see it. So I always use my tweezer to apply this and then I'm going to press my natural lashes against my fake lashes. So now I'm going in with the De Balm Scuba Mascara and I have to say normally I apply my mascara before I apply lashes but today I totally forgot it and once I was applying my lashes it felt so weird because I'm not used to having like no mascara so I want to say that I do prefer applying mascara before lashes. So yeah, this is already the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I really like how it came out. It was just how I imagined it to look in my head. And I think it's super pretty for fall. You can use this or you can wear this with a nude lip gloss or a super dark berry lip. You can basically do whatever you want. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That would be really sweet. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you aren't already. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys!